Hey, this is Ed Weidman here. Um, for those of you guys who know me, know that I'm very transparent. I'm pretty raw with uh, things I share. And the reason for that is simple. Like, I feel like we live in a world today where everybody's so busy and people are trying to figure out how to be successful. And there's a lot of scams out there. And a lot of people are trying to cut corners. And they don't want to work hard. And those that do work hard might not have the right mindset. And there's just a lot of noise, right? And and I get it when I scroll my Facebook feed. If I'm looking uh, at some friends, I'll see all these ads. Or if I'm on YouTube, all these ads, and they're annoying. The reality is this. And, I, and look, and I don't say this like I've arrived and I have all the answers. Because I don't. But I have learned some simple truths in life. Um, I own my own business. We homeschool our kids. Um, we're very blessed. We we live, you know, we split time between New York and Florida. Um, you know, we're just very thankful for the life we have. And I've learned that there's right ways of going about things and wrong ways of going about things. And I'm in a couple groups and, and I, I, uh, I run a couple accountability groups. I coach a lot of business owners uh, in my field and, and my goal is to help people succeed in life. Not just business, but in life. Like, what what good is making a ton of money in your career or in your business if you got a crappy marriage, okay? What good is having a fancy house if you never spend time with your kids? What good is, you know, traveling if you don't have good relationships? Like, to me, it's the whole ball of wax. It's... Having a great marriage. It's having your faith with God the right way. It's not about religion. It's about relationship. It's having a great marriage. It's having a great relationship with your kids. It's about not giving them presents. It's giving them your presence. Your time. Because you only got that for so long and then they're gone. Right? It's about creating memories and relationships with other people and about impacting people in a way I believe God would want. To me, that's being successful. That's what life is all about. It's about writing your eulogy and then living it out in your life today. Why people chase all this stuff that doesn't make them happy, it, it's beyond me. Like, success is not an amount of money, it's a mindset. It's having peace and joy in your life. Regardless of your circumstances, it's about having emotional stability. Because adversity is going to come, it's just a question of how you're going to respond to it. Like, we've had ridiculous adversity. We've had challenges. We still do. But it's, we keep getting back up. And we, we learn that, you know what? God's got our back. We're going to live our life the right way. We're going to love God. We're going to love people. We're going to see the value in other people the way God does. And we're going to love people without pushing what we believe on them. I mean, what more to living is that, right? Like, just wanted to share from the heart that success is not about making money. Money will not make you happy. Fancy houses, fancy cars. They're cool. There's nothing wrong with them unless, you know, they own you. Like, if you get your identity and value from that or from your job or your business, I say... It's just a matter of time before you get in trouble. I challenge and charge anyone who invests the time watching this. Pursue good relationships. Invest in your own education. Become better in all areas of your life. Work out your faith. Wrestle it out. God isn't looking for your stuff. He's looking for your availability. He wants your time. He wants to show you that doing life his way is better than doing the life the way we do it because his way 
is easier. The burden that we carry doing life God's way is way easier because the burden we have doing life God's way is having a heart for other people. It's way easier living that way than carrying a burden and stress of, I got to pay my bills. I've got to this. I've got to that. I'm not saying adversity and challenges don't come, but I feel like I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful that we've learned some truths in life, that it's not all about stuff. It's about the simple things. It's, it's about relationships. It's about making memories. It's about spending time with people. It's about having peace and joy in all areas of your life. It's about fighting for what you believe in and using the talents and abilities that God gave you to bless and impact other people in a way he wants. So I just, if, if you watch this, I'm just saying um, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there. There's a lot of noise out there. But there is a way to live life in a way that you will get to the end of your life and you will not have regret. And you will not say, would have, could have, should have. It's, you know what? I, 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 I put it all on the field. I gave it everything I got. I made a difference in people's lives. And I'm fulfilled. So anyway, something on my heart. I pray that this impacts somebody in a positive way where it challenges you to take inventory of your thoughts, over your words, over how you spend your time, who you spend your time with, how you invest your time to make yourself a better person and become who I believe you're capable of becoming. Because I believe people sell themselves short and they don't realize how much is inside of them, you know. God gives each of us unique talents and abilities. Our gift back to him is how we use them. Use what you've got because you can do great things with your life. Living for ourselves is never going to satisfy. Succeeding is great when we use our success to impact people in a way God wants. So guys, food for thought. Have a great day. God bless.